Okay, it is day 15 on our trip to the Treasure Coast, and today may not be a real eventful day today. Um, as mentioned in my previous video, um, I'm having to get my brakes serviced on my truck. Normally uh, we do that ourselves, but not having the tools or uh, any kind of really good jack, uh, it's something I'm not gonna be willing or able to do while we're here. And uh, with several miles ahead of us, uh, traveling to our next location, and also heading back to Texas, not a safe idea to be pulling a big old camper with my truck with uh, brakes that are kind of starting to squeal a little bit. So uh, Chantel is actually at the AT&T store, which is a few blocks away from where I dropped my truck off. And so we got her there this morning because she's had trouble with her phone. So uh, earlier in previous videos, we went to the Apple store and they set us up for a date to come back, but we canceled that. So now we're at AT&T. She's getting a phone upgrade. I guess she's going from a seven to a 12. So she's gonna have a new phone here in a minute. So uh, walking back to meet up with her uh, while they work on the truck, they said it should be about an hour and a half. As far as other plans today, not too sure what all we're doing. So uh, follow along, we'll keep you posted. So if we do something great, we'll make sure you, you're aware of that. So uh, that's it for now, we'll see you in a little bit. We're on day 15 and most of our day has been spent uh, primarily getting the new upgrade for Chantel's phone going and getting our brakes done. So we're just now, it's like um, 6.50, getting on the beach a little bit today. I'm using this book that I purchased at the Treasure Museum from a person that metal detects in this area. And we actually went way further south to this particular beach. It's the John Brooks Beach. And it's actually right on one of the wrecks of the 1715 fleet. It's the Nevis. And then there's another one further south that's about two miles down. That's an unnamed wreck. They don't know which one that one is. And the Uruk de Lima, if I'm saying that correctly, is about 3.8 miles north on this beach. And so this particular beach has a history of producing rings from the 1715 fleet. The one further north uh, produces more silver and gold. But according to when this book was written, I'm not sure the day they're written uh, type, but um, the last hurricanes uh, that came through here was like in 2013. That's when things were really being found at that time. So who knows, maybe there's some leftover stuff, maybe some things have washed up since then. I'm sure there's other people out here detecting, but we're gonna give it a shot. This is one of the reasons we came here. So uh, you'll be kind of joining us and we'll see what happens. guys here is day 15 of the treasure coast wrap up and we were here at uh, john brooks beach and and like i said earlier this is known for a shipwreck just off the shoreline about 600 yards so it's not too far out there uh people have found rings and things out here but not me today so let's go ahead and check out my finds today as we wrap up this evening's video okay in no particular order other than this one we'll talk about it first um this one right here is actually a piece of burnt wood that's burnt all the way through and you can tell it's pretty old now i'm going to tell everybody that this is from the shipwreck and people had there's a history of them burning down their ships below the sea line so pirates wouldn't come and find their sunken treasure uh, on their ships and so that's my story i'm sticking to it that was chantelle's find not I found with metal detector just eyeballing so we got a handful of bottle caps uh, this Corona, I've got a nickel and a penny. So that's six more cents I've found. So I hadn't found a lot. Whole lot more beer bottle caps and aluminum can bottom, couple tent stakes, more uh, beer bottle caps, found a uh, pencil 
and that rings up because of the at the end right here where the eraser is a couple pull tabs and some aluminum this beer can that just fell off it blew off so that's my finds for this evening nothing amazing nothing from 1715 obviously okay so our wrap up this evening is um not a real adventurous day uh today we got our brakes changed uh at the firestone here and uh spent quite a bit of time at at&t getting uh, chantelle a new phone and uh because her old one went out and she wasn't able to use it any longer uh we had to go and borrow chick-fil-a's wi-fi because ours at rv park has gone out and then we went to starbucks because it wasn't seeming to be strong enough that wasn't either, so we went back to the AT&T store, spent a pretty good chunk of the day just getting your phone, uh, all the right software updates and everything transferred over. And then uh, spent a little bit of time here at the beach today uh, with no fortunes to be made. So it is a treasure coast, just not for me, not yet anyway. We've got a few more days here and uh, still gonna give it a shot, but right now uh, the ocean's winning. They have not produced any treasure for me today or this week. So uh, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. And on our next episode, so y'all follow along. Thanks for checking us out. Leave a comment below if you'd like to say anything. Thanks.